In this video, we're gonna be checking out how easy it is to replace a background in an establishing shot. I just took some test footage down by my local liquor store, bodega, pizza shop type thing and uh, converted it to this. All right, cool. So inside the Fusion page, I'm gonna grab the cell phone footage that I got of my local pizza shop, little strip mall type of thing. Super uninteresting background and we're gonna change that. So let's take our background image here and we are going to start with a tracker. Make sure you're at the first frame, find a good spot, something with a lot of contrast that's kind of centered to your footage. So we're gonna hit track forward, let the computer do its thing. Cool. So now that we have that done, it's really important not to forget to go into this operation section of your tracker. In operation, it says none. You have to change that to match move. Otherwise, literally nothing will happen when you bring in your background. And it's really frustrating and confusing. So don't forget to hit match move. Now we're gonna bring in our background plate that we wanna use. This is just a picture of downtown Philly. Um, we're gonna connect that to the tracker. We're going to add a transform XF. Resize this guy. I'm actually gonna turn the blend mode down just a bit so I can kind of see. I want these two buildings to land in between this telephone pole. So that'll probably work right about there. So if we press play, we can see it's clearly being tracked with the handheld camera movement, which is a good sign. Next, I'm going to copy and paste my background footage, move it out here. So if you're looking at the nodes, an easy way to think of these is as layers going from left to right. So anything that's in front of our background layer that right here, anything to the right of that is going to wind up being on top of it. So after I connect this to this merge node, it's going to need some work done to remove this sky. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put in a Luma key here. And we're gonna start messing with these sliders up here. Try to remove just the sky. I'm actually gonna to need to invert this mask. And don't worry about this section here. You're gonna to start to see this storefront fall apart as we're messing with the lumen. Don't worry about that. We're gonna mask it out later. The most important thing is you wanna just get a nice blend on this sky and background image that we dropped in. That's not looking too, too bad. Maybe a little softer, something like that. Kind of blend it together. Looking good. Next thing I'm going to do is grab a mask real quick, drop it in. And I would connect this to the Luma key here, but it's going to be really hard to see what we're doing. So for now, I'm going to leave this disconnected and just work on the mask. I'm going to be jumping in here around the building. And this one doesn't have to be super perfect because the edge of the building is actually going to hold its own. Pretty good. We just need to make sure these lighter areas that got dropped out with the Luma key here are going to be <clears throat> masked out and I'm not doing you know not not going crazy keeping this real simple you want to get as clean as possible but you don't have to go too crazy with this step so with our mask drawn I'm gonna connect the mask to the Luma here and invert that so that it saves our buildings and keeps them looking not too bad we're off to a pretty good start, but you'll notice if we press play, eh, 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 mask is sliding all over the place and looks like dog shit. So we're just gonna do a quick animation on here. If we come in, we're gonna pop up to the inspector on the mask. We're gonna hit the XY keyframe jump forward a couple frames and just start dragging the mask back into place. Jump forward a couple frames, drag it back into place. 
We're actually going to have to do some very, very minor adjustments of the nodes as well. So let's see what we got. Let's see if we can spot any weird jankiness. Overall, that's pretty clean looking. I do see one little instance where it jumps up. So we can just go back and clean that up. You can actually drag these nodes and they will animate as the timeline progresses. If you see anything that needs to be adjusted, I did notice, yep, a little bit of light showing through here. Just fix that up right quick. I don't see anything wrong with that, so let's move on. Not looking too bad. So the icing on the cake for this one is a real simple and easy quick thing. After the Luma key here, we're gonna do shift spacebar. We're gonna type color for color corrector. Drop a color corrector on here and try to match the color a little bit to this kind of pinkish hue. We're just gonna grab the wheel, drag down. And somewhere in this neighborhood looks pretty good to me. Boom, done. That's it for this one. Just kind of a quick random idea I had to uh, change up an establishing shot, especially if you don't have time to drive down to the city. So uh, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and uh, consider liking and subscribing.